Okay, we're gonna be talking about glutathione depletion. So five factors that can accelerate aging due to the reduced levels of glutathione, which is a major antioxidant in our body. And um, unlike vitamins A, C, and E, which have a lot of antioxidant properties, glutathione is actually made in the body. So this video is not focused on what glutathione is, but mainly on the things that deplete glutathione, especially if you already know that you're running low on glutathione and you're taking supplements of this. And if you're doing these other factors that deplete the glutathione, it may cancel each other out. Now, the irony is that as we get older, glutathione levels start to drop off, especially in the mid 40s. So glutathione plays a key role in supporting immune function it helps neutralize free radicals and helps reduce inflammation in our body and slows down the aging process, the higher levels of glutathione that we have in our bodies. It not only helps fight aging and it also helps repair tissues and cells. Hi, my name is Christy and I have been treating clients uh, in the areas of hyperpigmentation, uh, acne and other skin conditions for over 15 years now and have done over 26,000 different treatments. And this video is actually a result from one of my clients. I wanted to feature her in one of my videos, but she did not want to go on video. So she did agree to share some of her information and the tips that I gave to her that really helped her with her melasma. So she came to me with heavy duty melasma and she had lupus, which is an autoimmune disease. And she also had a lifetime of all these different types of medication. So because she had to take these medications and some of the medications, some of the side effects is increasing uh, pigmentation formation, I had to really focus in on reducing inflammation both through her diet and, and kind of de helping her to kind of detox her liver to help support her liver, as well as uh, reducing inflammation on the topical skin side. So um, I'm gonna talk to you about the five factors that deplete glutathione in our bodies. So here are the first one and it is six common medications that people take that are known to deplete glutathione. So acid blockers, antacids, pain medications, antivirals, antibiotics, tricyclic uh, antidepressants, and um, any medications that have acetaminophen, so common in pain medication. So anything from uh, over-the-counter Tylenol all the way down to the more powerful pain medications such as Vicodin, Percocet, and Darvocet. Now, if you have enough glutathione in your body, um, when you're taking these medications, you have enough stored in your body that it actually counteracts um, the things that you're taking that are depleting the glutathione, but if you already have reduced glutathione and you're, and you're taking these medications, um, especially on a regular basis, then this can actually deplete the glutathione and reduce your glutathione even further. Okay, number two, number two, I'm, I'm not gonna spend too much time on, and that is smoking. And the reason why is because most people today do not smoke. However, if you uh, work in a smoke-filled environment, such as one of my other clients who worked in a casino, or if you're walking through nightclubs that allow for cigarette smoking, you're actually exposing not only just your entire body, but your skin to those free radicals and that also depletes glutathione. So, you know, that's something that is really unnecessary to do, but that is another one that can deplete glutathione. The next factor is excess body fat. So they didn't mention anything about excess body weight or heavier weight. It's excess body fat, especially if you have a fatty liver because people who are thin can also have a fatty liver. They said that um, they're more prone to aging aggressors as well as it depletes the glutathione. Now, speaking of 
liver, uh, the next one is alcohol. So they, what they found is even though the, the liver plays a key role in filtering out chemicals that, you know, um, when we take medications and we eat foods and we're exposed to toxins, it's a, it plays a very key role. The majority of the glutathione they found is actually not stored in the, the liver, but also, but in the lungs. So they did a clinical study and at Emory University, where they compared the glutathione levels of young, healthy, fu uh, functioning alcoholics compared to young, healthy, non-alcoholics or people who didn't drink alcohol at all. And they found that the glutathione levels were 80 to 90% lower in people who drink alcohol. Okay, so before I get to the last factor, if you're finding this information and tips helpful and you want more in the future, then go ahead and give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comments. And if you know someone who could use this information, would really appreciate it if you could share it. Okay, so the last one is one that we all pretty much know, but we may not be doing, especially during this holiday season, and that is getting enough sleep not eating a lot of processed foods, so our, so a poor diet and lack of sleep. All of these things can deplete glutathione. And if you're already low on this, this is not helping at all. So studies have shown that people who have increased levels of glutathione, they actually sleep better and they wake up feeling refreshed. If you're interested in the best time to take glutathione, then make sure you're subscribed uh, because I'm gonna be talking about that because remember, makeup is an art, skincare is a science.